Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another worth the buy or not. So I'm going to be talking today about the KKW contour kit. I was really excited to hear that she was coming out with her very own makeup line. I think it's super cool. I must say though, I feel like she should have done this like six years ago when makeup was like really about to like bust through the doors and just run the game because she would have really killed it. Um, and she really like redefined the whole contour situation, but I think that the person who really like came in and took over contour was Anastasia Beverly Hills. She like came in and everybody had those contour kits. I feel like now they kind of like faded out a little bit because there's so many contour kits, but everybody had one of those. Now, the weird thing for me was, yes, it was kind of cutting it really close to when Kylie Cosmetics launched. I know it's only been a year, but I feel like they kind of just did it too, too close. But I do feel like they have two completely different audiences. I feel like Kylie's more like the young person who's really into like all the colors. And I feel like Kim is kind of aiming more for the woman who really likes to do her makeup, but likes something more subtle, something more glowy, just something from within that will enhance your beauty. So she started off with her contour kit. Now, a lot of people were not fans of this packaging. They were like, it looks cheap. Why would Kim Kardashian do that? I just think she just wanted to do something kind of different, something that wouldn't just be like your everyday packaging. I do feel like this is honestly her vibe. Like I could see her doing this. Pat McGrath did the same thing and nobody really judged her when they did it. So I think that because Kim Kardashian is very controversial, a lot of people do not like her. People do like her. It's just a very sticky subject and it's very easy for people to be like, oh, that's trash. So. I did go ahead and use these products. I'm not gonna lie. When you open them, they come in that like sealed situation, which I thought was a waste of time. But I mean, I could see like for sanitary purposes, they like just package everything perfectly together. And then it comes in this. Um, at first I was like hesitant about this brush. Yes, it's dirty. Like I mentioned, I used it and this sponge. Now I must say with the sponge, the very first thing that I did as soon as I opened my package was look at the sponge because I wanted to see what the sponge was about. I honestly, when I saw it on the website, I was like, that sponge is gonna be some shit, like some pure shit. Like I'm not down for that. And now that I'm touching it, it actually feels really, really nice. Like it's, it's very bouncy. It's not so damn hard, which I'm not a huge fan of. And the only thing that I'm like, okay, how is this gonna work when I clean it? I could always use like my solid, um, bar of like soap looking beauty blender cleanser because that does clean it out as opposed to me like you know getting in there because it is attached but I just feel like you know if you left this and you have pets like a dog I could see the dog just yanking that shit out and being like gone so I would just really be careful with this and make sure that it's out of reach for little kids and pets because this can easily be snatched away now this brush she did say was inspired from one of her favorite MAC brushes that got discontinued so she really wanted to make something that was very nice. Now I was also hesitant about this brush. I must say it's really nice and fluffy. I do like that about this situation right here. Um, I thought it was going to be a lot bigger when I first saw it. I was kind of disappointed. I was like, how am I going to use this and make it work? But I actually really like the fact that it's so small because I feel like when I'm traveling I can easily just... Put this in my bag, do my contour, and go. Um, when I went to New York, I did use this a lot. I didn't really bring that much makeup to my trip to New York because I really wanted to just have fun and not worry too much about what I was doing on my face. So I just went ahead and used this and I really, really enjoyed it. So now we're gonna move on to the products. So here you get a contour little situation and then you get a highlight situation. And the packaging looks like this. I really like the color that she used. I feel like this light pink complements what she stands for because she's kind of more into like those neutral colors like black, the nudes, just like that type of color scheme. So I feel like that's nice. Um, I don't like how she has KK Beauty on here. I feel like, I don't know if it's the font or if it's just the fact that it's on there. It makes this look like it's a toy or like just very kiddish. But um, that's just like small little details that probably don't matter to some of you guys. But to me, I just really like critique everything to the T. So I just tattoo. Um, I forgot to mention real quick that I did get the dark selection because Kim Kardashian did mention that she is between medium and dark. She's medium when she is just 
natural skin tone. She's dark when she's tan skin. I do feel like I'm a little bit darker than Kim. So I was like, let me just get the dark. And also when I did pick it out, the medium had unfortunately sold out. So I was like, okay, not going to get the medium, but I still want to try this. So let me just get the dark. And if I like it, then I will definitely get the medium. So I actually am going to open these. So it looks like this dual ended. And this is how much you get. So you get that much product, which I was like, mm, you know, I go in with a heavy hand with everything in my life. So why would you just give me this much? We'll see. We'll see. But I feel like if you're definitely a contour queen, you're going to use the crap out of this and probably by a month, it'll be just gone. Um, I did want to mention that this product does sell for around $42. No, $45. So you get this kit for $45 and then you have to put into consideration that you have to pay for shipping. If you live in the US, it comes to around $58. So it is a pretty pricey little situation, but if you really, really think about it, you are getting a contour stick, a highlight stick, and you're getting the brush and the sponge. So you have to put into consideration that they are making three different things, four technically if you think about it, because you have these two, the brush, and then the sponge on this side. So you're getting a lot. You're really getting everything you need. I feel like for somebody that's just beginning with makeup, this is a really good starting point because you don't have to worry about going out and getting all these different products because you already have everything packaged into one. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the lighter shade because there is one that's a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade and I'm just going to start right here. And I don't go too far down. I find that when I go too far down, my face sags downwards and the whole purpose of contour is to like, like bring you up. So I just keep it in that little section right there. I must say this is so, so creamy and it really just like, feels like you're just gliding a crayon right on your skin and it's, it just feels so nice and soft. It's nothing like too crazy, but as you can see, it is a very nice pigmented product. And then what I like to do when I do go ahead and just contour the whole face is I like to go here. See how like, I just feel like I just use such a heavy hand that my little contour stick is just gonna be gone ASAP. Then I just go there, there, and that just does a really good job of kind of giving you a shadow so that if you feel like you have like a little double chin situation, you can really like hide it down below. Then for my forehead, I do have a little bit of a wide forehead in this area. So what I like to do is I like to just go on these sides right here. And that just makes sure that my forehead just really kind of comes in closer. So then I'm going to go back in with the highlight. And it's kind of like a nice consistency where as though you could even use this as a concealer in case you've forgotten your concealer. So I just like to kind of target it in the areas where I really just want to highlight and bring attention to my important parts of my face. I used to be obsessed with brightening my under eyes and making them look really white. And if you guys have watched like my very first videos, I did that and I'm very ashamed of it. But I mean, you live and you learn people, you live and you learn. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go in with the brush and we're going to start just blending it out. I like how easy it blends. And do you guys see how natural it blended? Like it just blended so effortlessly that it made sure that the contour, you can still see it, but it's nothing crazy. I've tried some contour sticks where you literally look like you just have mud all over your face. Like this blends out so beautiful, so natural, still enough where you can really tell that you definitely did contour your skin, 
but you didn't like go overboard or it doesn't look too crazy or like you're insanely contoured you look like a different person no this makes sure that you really enhance your beauty then we're gonna go up and just blend our nice contour And I must say though, with this brush, there may be some people that are going to be like, honestly, this brush is way too hard, but it's not. This is what I think it is. I think when you first get any brush, whether it is like Sigma, Morphe, any brush, when you first get it, you have to break into it like a shoe. So once you break into your brush, it feels so different. Right now, I do feel like it's a little bit like hard in some areas, but when I blend it out, it blends everything out so beautifully that it's like I have nothing to worry about. I'm going to be taking the sponge side and I'm gonna wet it just a little bit with my Mac Fix Plus because obviously you're not gonna wanna wet this with under the sink because you will definitely just, it'll be a hot mess. And then we're gonna start blending out the concealer. I find that when you like slightly wet the sponge, it really does a good job of making sure it blends all the product out very nicely, distributes it so that you don't have to worry about it just being so like, ugh. So now that we've snatched up most of our face, the last thing we have left to do is just highlight with the nice kind of like shimmery color that comes in this kit. Now this is the only one that I was kind of hesitant about because I do feel like this one is darker than my complexion and it wouldn't really serve as a highlight. Um, but I'm gonna just use a little bit of it on my high points and see how it works. I'm just gonna go ahead and take it and just kind of dot it along there. You can see that it does look a little bit dark. I feel like it's too dark for me. So, that being said, if you're my complexion and you really care about a good highlight, then don't go with the dark kit because you will not be happy. So I'm going to go ahead and take my tried and true, my Kylie Jenner Highlighter in Salted Caramel, and I'm just going to try to diffuse that little situation right there. You guys know mama needs a good highlight. So this is how everything should look at the end once you have completed your contour situation to your skin using the KKW Beauty Contour Set. So now I'm gonna go ahead and talk about whether this product is worth a buy or not. Now that you guys have seen it on my skin and see how it performs. So I really wanna quickly say there are four kits here. You have a light kit, you have a medium kit, a dark kit, and a deep dark kit. So I think it's awesome that Kim really incorporated and really, really made sure that she had colors in there that cater to our darker skin ladies because there's a lot of companies that make contour kits that are just flatter, like light to medium skin. And it's like, where the hell are the dark kits? Like where? I do really like the consistency. I feel like they blend out so nice, so easy, so seamless. You don't have to worry about really going in there or getting that muddy look. No, it does not give you that whatsoever. Now as for the tools, I really, really like the brush. I feel like the brush just felt so good. It blended everything out so easy as you guys saw. Like I was blending upwards and it just stayed there. It wasn't like going to the sides like some products do. It was just, it stayed completely in place and looked phenomenal. Now the sponge, I do like the fact that it's a bouncy product. It's not so like hard, like those cheap sponges from the dollar store. It's a very nice consistency, but I do feel like if you wanna blend out your like under eye, highlight with this, it's not going to look that great. I feel like this is more for blending out and diffusing out your contour or blending out, diffusing out your nose contour. You can even use this to bake your face. Let's say you wanted to put a little bit of powder on here and then you wanted to bake the sides because it does come to a point. I feel like that's really, really good. It's also really nice to just kind of blend out the high points of your face. But when it came to my under eyes, for some reason, it, it just wasn't doing a really good job. I even added some spray to just kind of make the sponge a little tiny bit bouncier and I feel like it really wasn't doing much for my under eyes. But for everything else, it worked just fine. 
I didn't find myself having to use any other brushes when I was using this. I have seen people that they were just frustrated and they were like, this isn't working for me. But for me personally, I did like how all these products worked out. I will definitely have to say, I feel like it is worth it, especially if you guys do not own contour kits and you know, you're really curious about it, but you don't want to like invest in all the different things that you need to contour. Just knowing that you have all the things you need, highlight, contour, and the tools you're gonna need in one little situation, I feel like is awesome. And for the $45 that you pay plus shipping, which is 58, yes, it does seem pricey, but you're getting everything in that kit. It's not like you have to buy your contour sticks from Smashbox, a brush by Sephora, a highlight by Becca, and it comes to like a hundred and some dollars. No, you get everything packaged in a little bag and you're good to go. So I would have to say, I think it is worth it. You guys saw how the products worked on my skin. So it's not like I'm fooling you guys. I'm not being like, oh my God, it's Kim K. Of course I love it. No, because you guys saw that I was not a fan of the KKW lip products as a whole. So you guys know that I'm not gonna sit here and just fool you guys, because that's not who I am. If you guys want me to review anything else that's coming out, whether it's KKW or something by a different brand, then just let me know. I would love to review whatever you guys want me to review. I'm in the process of really, really going hard right now and just giving you guys everything you want. So please go ahead and let me know what videos you want to go see next in my comment section down below and I will totally get those videos up for you. If you want to know anything else about what I'm wearing on my skin and whatnot, then please go ahead and look at the description box down below and you will see what products I used today. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to go ahead and thumbs it up. It lets me know that you guys enjoy watching my worth the buy or not reviews. And if you guys are new to my channel, then please go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you a member of our family here on YouTube because I give you the best, most honest reviews and I wouldn't want you guys to miss those for the world. So that being said, I will be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.